Good morning, everyone. As a trustee for this area, it's an honor and a privilege to be part of this wonderful celebration as we inaugurate the Field of Dreams. The sense of excitement, pride, and anticipation is palpable. To quote a line from the movie by the same name, if you build it, they will come. We built it. And we all came to witness the blessing and opening of this wonderful new athletic facility. And many more will come to enjoy this new playing field in the months ahead. Everyone here should feel a sense of accomplishment as each of you has played a role in the completion of this field of dreams. It is truly inspiring to see what can be achieved when all the levels of government work together for the common good of our community and the young people who live here. On behalf of my colleagues at the Toronto Catholic District School Board, I congratulate all of you and wish you much success in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rossetti, and uh, good morning, Father Henry Carr. Good morning, students, staff, and honored guests. Uh, this is a true example that uh, this morning that dreams do come true. And on behalf of our Mayor Rob Ford and Toronto City Council, I'd like to extend my sincerest congratulations on the opening of the Field of Dreams. I'm honored to join you as we celebrate the opening of this facility. This achievement could not have been accomplished without the support of the Father Henry Carr community, the Government of Canada, the Province of Ontario, and everybody here today. Thank you for your commitment to youth. Thank you for your commitment to athletics. Father Henry Carr has a tradition of excellence in sports, and your students will make their mark on the national and international stage. This field will become a gathering place for our community as we watch our young people train and compete. This is a community in need of opportunities. Our youth have no shortage of skills, talents, and determination. And they're supported by the caring and dedicated staff of Father Henry Carr. The Field of Dreams represents a tangible commitment to the health and vitality of Father Henry Carr and of North Etobicoke. The Field of Dreams is befitting of the greatness our community strives for. I look forward to watching your athletes in action and wish you much success both on and off the field. Thank you again and congratulations. I am pleased to be here today to celebrate the completion of work to construct the new athletic field of Father Henry Carr Catholic Secondary School, the Field of Dreams. As a new member of Parliament, I am pleased to see these projects take shape and reach completion. It gives me an opportunity to connect directly with the members of the community that benefit from our government's funding of infrastructure projects across Ontario. And I see all these students out here who are the primary beneficiaries of this. But I have to say at the outset, Michael, this is something that you should be saluted for. So I would like to say, tanti auguri, Signor Rosetti, por tua inspirazione. Because it really did begin with his dream, with his conceptualization, with his idea. And of course, as always, it wasn't just a matter of empire building. It was a matter, as always, I think all the things that you do, Michael, is motivated for the kids to see what they can do for the community, how to keep their men sana in corpore sano, a sound mind in a sound body. And I think uh, leadership such as Principal Rossetti is probably an example, not only to the Father Henry Carr community, and of course to Etobicoke North, but beyond. So with that, I would simply say that congratulations on behalf of the Premier of the Province of Ontario, the Honorable Dalton McGuinty, and indeed all members of the legislature. Congratulations, multa grazie. As always, is a tremendous honor and joy to, for me to be here because at CAR, you truly do care. And I love to be inspired by Crusader spirit. I want to begin by congratulating all the staff and students on this state-of-the-art track and field center, as each of you has left an indelible mark on its building. Each of you can proudly say you had a role to play through its fundraisers. And each time when you drive or walk past, or fly past, <laughs> you can say, we did it. And one day when you show your children and grandchildren, show them what you built. 
and proudly tell your families because this center will make an enormous difference in our Etobicoke North community for decades. Now let me recognize and celebrate Principal Mike Rossetti. He always stands humbly, quietly, but is proudly beaming as he watches all of you, his students, achieve their dreams. At your recent multicultural celebration, there was no one prouder than Principal Rossetti. This track was Principal Rossetti's dream to build a facility for CARS, tremendous athletes, and for our community, a legacy from the high school to Etobicoke North. This dedicated principal came to me on a Saturday morning and he talked passionately about his idea and the architect's drawings for the Field of Dreams project. He just kept saying, I want this for my kids. I want this for my kids. And I promised him we would find the funding. Finally, as our students sing at CAR, to live a dream, we're all a team. With their words, I will ask you for your continued support so we can finish phase two of this important community project and truly honor the legacy of Father Thomas Moen, founding principal of Father Henry Carr. God bless. This project has demanded time, dedication, persistence, and strong will of all involved, including the members of the community. If not for the commitment demonstrated by our community leaders, including Mr. Rossetti, none of this would have been possible. This will be the first major athletic building this part of the city has seen in decades. On behalf of the student council and the student leaders of Father Henry Carr, it gr gives me great honor to congratulate the school and the community on their outstanding achievement with the Field of Dreams. Thank you. So it was the fall of 2006 when Athletic Director Mario Pietrangelo and I discussed this dream for Henry Carr and for North Etobicoke. Let's create a Northwest Esther Shiner Stadium, state-of-the-art athletic center for an area that needed hope and opportunity, for an area that deserved better, for our students and the Rexdale community who would no longer have to travel significant distance to experience and use a first-class facility. In the spring of 2009, the answer to our hopes came from Angelo. He had received word in an email, which he forwarded to me, that schools were now being allowed to apply for recreational infrastructure funding, rink funding, from the federal and provincial governments. Our problem was that we only had three days to get the application ready for submission. Fortunately for us, our project was shovel ready as we, with the assistance of landscape architect John George, who eventually was hired by our board to oversee the project, had been doing our homework for three and a half years. In July 2009, Angelo calls to tell me that our application for funding was successful. Today, phase one of the Field of Dreams has become a reality, thanks to both the federal and provincial governments for believing in the potential and talent that exists in Rexdale. I can tell you that our kids are second to none. Thank you to the Police Services Board, to the Archdiocese of Toronto, excuse me, I should be happy, I am happy, for their um, generous contribution to the project. And thank you to the Toronto Catholic District School Board for having faith in our dream, for helping to give our kids what they truly deserve, and for supporting the building of this first class facility which will serve not only Henry Carr, but also St. Dorothy, St. Andrews, and all of our elementary schools. And a special thank you to the parents, staff, students, and friends of Henry Carr for their support. And to the student body who participated in the Car Trek Walkathon, sold freezies, popcorn, and baked goods to help raise funds for this beautiful field. Our, uh, our founding principal, Father Thomas Moen, in the early days, from what I heard from Coach Miller, could often be heard saying that the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. We have walked 500 miles. Phase one is complete. We now prepare to walk the last 500. 
the completion of the stadium, the building equipped with fo football, soccer change rooms, washrooms, concession booths, the stands, which will seat 1,500 people, the electronic scoreboard, which will be right down there, and the lights to illum illuminate the field of dreams. We need to walk together. We need to walk with a sense of urgency. We need to give North Etobicoke its own Esther Shiner Stadium. Please join us on this journey. Our kids and community deserve it. Thank you very much. I told Michael today that I would come, and it uh, took a little bit of effort to get here. But I told him, I said, Michael, maybe my last time I would ever be able to come here, as I haven't been that well, and I want to say a few things, but I want you to remember them. There was a great man, a great educator in this country, known by people who are in education. His name is Father Henry Carr. A school that had no running water in any of the portables. The toilets were in the back of the church over at St. Andrews. We had no lunch room or anything like that. But we had a spirit. We had a spirit that I would suggest things and people would have 15 reasons and ways of doing it. This was a mag magnificent experience for me and certainly it has produced not only fantastic scholars and professional people, it is added to the wealth of this country. Just in education alone, it is added to the wealth of this country like no other school that I've ever been in. I want you to hear those words that I want them to burn deeply into your heart. I think we should remember, remember Henry Gar. It's unusual, it's magnificent, it's worthwhile remembering, it's an example. And I think we should really remember this today. Michael Rossetti has done a fantastic job. A great leader, a man of vision, and certainly I think we should always all be behind him and doing the things he's doing it for the right motive. And so it is, is that today as we consecrate and dedicate this field, I want to first of all thank the staff, thank Michael, and I'm going to tell you that I will never ever forget to pray for Henry Carr. Since we opened the doors, we've always said a prayer to Almighty God. Please, Lord, we're dealing with people that, to whom you gave life. Let us help us use that life for the goodness of the world. Henry Carr stands that way for me. God bless you. Father Luigi Acosato from our, our local parish, St. Andrews, and he will do the blessing for us today. We stand pleased for the blessing. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, amen. All glory and praise are yours, Heavenly Father. We give you thanks for calling us to be your people and for giving us your Son as our Lord and your spirit to guide our lives and our prayers. Bless us as we gather together today and open our heart to the action of the Holy Spirit. Teach us to pray with Jesus and give you glory each day. Let us ask God to bless the Father angry car field of dreams. Loving God, look on us with love as we gather in the Father Angry car field of dreams. Bless this field, which we now dedicate to the service of this community. Bless your people as they use this track and field. Bring your peace and joy into their lives and fill them with your happiness. Almighty God, we give you thanks and praise you forever and ever.